So I've been talking a lot about the Alliance of Independent Authors, but what does this mean to you, the viewer? How can you leverage this avenue to get the most as an independent author? Well, good news, I've actually bring, brought in a very special guest in, the host of Author Level Up, Michael Laron. Stay tuned to today's video. This is Self Publishing with Dale where you'll learn how to publish books that sell and build an unstoppable author brand. Today, we're going to be interviewing one of my absolute favorite people on YouTube and Michael Laron, prolific author. Dude, it is so awesome to have you here on this channel. What's up? Hey, Dale. It's good to be here, man. I appreciate the invite. It's always good to come and talk to you. Do you ever know this, this is your second time being on the channel? Second time's a charm. Yeah. Second time's a charm. Not too many First, times. For, well, the first time your audience got me to curse, so I don't know what's going to happen this time. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good time for sure. And actually, I'll leave a link inside of the description down below of that interview. It was actually really great. Uh, you get a little bit more backstory of Michael. So rather than me telling your backstory, we'll send people over there because today we're actually going to get together for the Alliance of Independent Authors. And I learned about Ally through you. Uh, so I really kind of, I want to finally get to know what's the Alliance of Independent Authors all about. Yeah, absolutely. So first off, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, Ally, uh, the Alliance of Independent Authors, Ally for short, is really, it's, it's a, a nonprofit organization for writers. You know, you think about uh, certain professions and they have certain uh, associations that advocate for writers. They, they do certain things, provide certain services. And why, you know, why shouldn't we have that as self-published writers, right? Because who's going to advocate for us? We have to band together. We have to stick together, and we've got to use our resources to be able to compete in the marketplace. And you know, Joanna Penn talks all the time about coopetition, right? We're, you and me, we're not really in competition with each other. At the end of the day, we can help each other, right? I mean, readers, if they like my books, they're probably going to like your books, Dale. So why not pull our resources together? And so the Alliance of Independent Authors was founded by Orna Ross. She's our fearless leader. Um, it was founded in 2012 at the London Book Fair as a way to raise awareness to uh, the different things that uh, self-published writers have to deal with, right? And so the mission of Ally is ethics and excellence in self-publishing, right? So ethics, meaning how do you publish a book the right way? How do you publish a book without uh, being taken advantage of by a bad actor, right? And then the excellence piece of it is, well, how do you publish a book uh, that that is going to uh, get in front of readers? That it, you know, how do you price your book? Uh, where where can you find uh, a, a professional editor? Where can you find a cover designer? Ally was founded to answer uh, these types of questions and provide those types of services and information to writers uh, as a way to help them level up their game and step up in the marketplace. And uh, I came on board in 2016 as part of the Ally team, uh, starting as a podcast. So I, I did a number of podcasts for Ally just because I, I, I was doing a lot of similar things with my YouTube channel, Author Level Up. That just kind of made sense. Uh, it made sense that Orna and I uh, would be good partners on, on things with Ally. And so uh, right now I host their monthly member Q&A podcast. So yeah. Ally members have a question. Uh, Orna and I will actually answer those live on the air. And I'm also a partner member ambassador. So I, I reach out to, to prospective companies and organizations who I think would be a good or who we think would be a good um, partner with Ally in terms of bringing services to writers and yeah. uh, different information. And so uh, help bring them on board and uh, give them some services and support. Very so that's a long, uh, long, short answer <laughs> to, to what Ally stands for and uh, some of the things that they're doing out there in the marketplace. So I hadn't even scratched the surface when I discovered Alliance of Independent Authors in that I had their email newsletter as a non-member and they typically just curate a lot of great articles that they have on their website and give, you know, obviously show things like the podcast or someone has a mm -hmm. blog article on their website. I always thought it was really cool, but I wasn't aware of the aspect that they actually curate different products and services that they can confidently endorse then. Yeah, absolutely. So there, there's so many things you said in there that untangle, right? So um, Ally does do some curation of content, right? But yeah. primarily what, what they also have is a blog. So we have a, a, a content network, right? So we've got at selfpublishingadvice.org, there's a blog. 
Um, and basically we post there daily with different themes and different things that are mm -hmm. of interest to writers. So um, op-ed pieces from our members, uh, member showcases, uh, tips and advice and you name it, right? Any, anything you can think of uh, to answer in, in a, a self-publishing blog, we, we've got it there. But then we also have on that website, um, a podcast network, right? So it's available on all, all, all the places where you can find your podcast, Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and we have a different podcast every week. Um, we've got a member Q&A podcast that I mentioned. We've got a beginner self-publishing salon that answers questions geared toward beginners. Yeah. We've got an advanced self-publisher salon, and that's with Orna Ross and Joanna Penn, and they're talking about more advanced topics. And um, we've, we've also got some things such as um, a poetry salon now, <laughs> self-publishing poetry. Orna is very passionate about poetry, and so yeah. uh, there's lots of uh, different, different things that we have. And um, Ally also has a quarterly uh, online conference called the Self-Publishing Conference, and it's, it's, it's a free you know, free conference that you can attend. Um, and you get, you get to hear from industry speakers, you know, people, people like you and myself, Dale, who have things to talk about and, um, gets, we get sponsors and, uh, there's all sorts of free information that ally provides. So it's not just the curation, right? It, it's yeah. also, uh, allies become a content machine, right? There's lots of great, good, useful information out there. But then the second thing that I wanted to uh, make sure that I mentioned that you had hit on was yeah. there's a lot of bad guys out there. Yeah. Right. Um, the, the days of, uh, I don't know, <laughs> the, the days of having books in your garage are over. Right. But there are there are vanity publishers out there who, you know, they have some pretty unscrupulous business tactics. And, you know, authors, we are particularly vulnerable as a class of, of professionals because we've got dreams. Right. Yeah. And in many cases, there are a lot of writers who will do anything to sacrifice for those dreams. And there are people out there who recognize that, right? And so one of the things that Ally has done, and I think admirably well, and it's something that I, I, one of the reasons I was really attracted to this organization was they have a watchdog desk, okay? And so um, that's run by John Doppler Schiff. And so what he does is he goes out and vets all of these different editors and services that provide uh, services for writers. And he, he vets them based on Ally's code of conduct. We actually have a code of conduct that's published on our website that basically says, this is how we feel uh, that, that business should be done in the marketplace with writers, right? And so we compare all of these vendors against that code of conduct and we rate them in a database on our website. Um, and, and basically uh, we, we tell you if, 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 we, if Ally feels that uh, certain vendor is reputable, we put them in there as a, as, as a recommended or um, as, a, as an okay member, right? And if, if there's something to be aware of, <laughs> we, we, we'll put a caution on it. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you why uh, we feel that um, maybe you need to be careful, right? And so uh, the watchdog desk does a great job of trying to catalog and capture all the different actors out there and making sure that Ally gets connected with the good ones. Excellent. Uh, watchdog services list, actually, I've uh, said this one numerous times. In fact, there's so many times that a lot of indie authors came to me and they would say, uh, did you hear about XYZ publishing? Yep. Uh, what do you think about this one? And you know, I'm one of the first people to say when I don't know something, I'll tell them I don't know, but I try to send them over to somewhere else that I check out. And the watchdog list is something I've watched at least, no pun intended, for the last year to two years because whenever I go for a service, I'm going to cross check it and see if it's there. And I know that there's a service available that if we don't see it on there, we can actually recommend it be checked mm -hmm. out. So yep. um, I'll leave a link for that down in the description down below, but you can always go to my quick link of dalelinks.com slash watchdog to look at that it. services list. It's available to members and non-members. So I just want to make sure everybody yeah, knows Yeah, it's, it's available for free. It's out there for, for anyone to look at. So if you're, if you're, you get approached by email, which is often how this happens. <laughs> you get approached by an email and the email seems good and it seems legit, but maybe you got something in the back of your head that says, I don't know go to our watchdog database. It, it's yeah. a perfect, um, perfect thing. And, it, and if you don't see it, if you don't see a, a, a vendor in there, certainly pass it along to us and we'd be more than happy to, to do some research. Yeah, on it. for sure. So, all right. So now we talked about being a non-member. Anybody can be a non-member and they have plenty of benefits. Obviously I have been 
on the fence of being a member for the longest time. And I said, you know what? It's high time that I get over here because I've been sending people over here. I'm like, <laughs> get me over to Ally. Why would someone want to become a member? Are there specific perks that are entailed in investing in something like this? And what can we expect? Oh, absolutely. And, and I, I could be here all night if I talked about all of the perks that Ally offers, but I'll, yeah. I'll pick some of my favorites, right? Okay. So um, first thing of being a member, being a paying member of Ally, um, you get access to a number of things that uh, non-members don't get, right? So yeah. Ally publishes a number of different guidebooks. Now, these are full-length books, full of advice. You would normally would have to pay for those on Amazon or Google or wherever you buy your books. We offer those to our members for free, wow. right? That's, that's one cool thing that we offer. Another cool thing that we offer, and I think this is this honestly will pay for your membership, <laughs> is um, Ingram Spark is a, is a great partner of Ally. Um, abs- you 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 you've sang Ingram Spark's praises. I have. Um, I, I love Ingram Spark. They're just a great uh, partner with Ally. Um, you know, Ingram Spark, you have to pay revision fees and setup fees if you want to change something in their network, right? If you upload a book and you don't want to make a change, or it, you have to pay a fee just to upload a book, right? And yeah. so. Um, Ingram Spark waives that for Ally members. So if you have, if you publish a book, <laughs> you know, on through Ingram Spark and distribute it through there, uh, and and have to make more than a couple of changes a year on on a book, I mean, that's going to pay for your entire membership. Yeah, just it, that in and of itself, which I think is my favorite part, and that's something that um, a lot of people will join just for that, so that they can they can save that save that cash. You know, the crazy thing is actually I'd already uh, forwarded people over there that were going into Ingram Spark, and I was like, do yourself a favor, just go and join the Alliance of Independent Authors. That way you can yes. just waive those fees. And and they were like, really? What all is the perks? And that's why I was like, always kind of like, I don't know. I probably should see about yeah. pulling the trigger and just become part of this. So are there other things off the top of your head oh, that you can think beyond Ingram yeah. Spark and the resources that, that yeah, we get? Yeah, a, a couple of other things that I would mention. Um, it, a couple of things. Another, another one is if you have a specific self-publishing question that you want to get answered, Orna and I do the monthly Q&A podcast. We only take questions from our members, oh. right? And so... That's another thing. If you've got a specific situation and you want Michael or Ron to look at it or Orna Ross to look at it, you know, we answer those questions on air and the, and the, in, in the questions that we don't answer on air, I give a, a, a personal written response to all of them. So nice. that's another benefit. Um, and we go live, uh, we broadcast live for our members. So members have the link to that, which is another great thing. Um, another great perk that we offer is um, access to our partner member directory. So I mentioned a little bit earlier that I'm the partner member ambassador, right? So we bring in services that uh, have, have really cool things to offer for writers, right? Um, and they offer discounts, right? So I, I don't want to name any names of companies because I don't know when people are going to listen to this, <laughs> right. you know? So, um, but the, if you go to our member services or our partner directory, I mean, there's, there's so many really cool deals mm-hmm. um, that, that a lot of them are exclusive that you won't be able to get anywhere, right? And so um, we've, that's one of the great things that we can add value is we bring in, we bring in people that we, we know are going to provide good services to writers. We know that they're good actors. We vet all of our partner members. And so when they make special offers, you can feel really good knowing that you're getting something that a lot of writers aren't going to have access to, which is another, uh, I think, great benefit that Ally offers. When you start thinking about all the different expenses that you have as a writer every year, all the money that you have to spend toward things, I mean, every dollar you can save is a good thing. So that's that's another another way that the Ally membership adds value. Mm. Now, a question for you just kind of came off the top of my head because I know there's going to probably be some people who are like, but Michael, what if a partner came over and they said, we're going to give you a five spot if you just let us come on in. We're going to be a partner and you're going to make give us the recommended green label on watchdog list. Can people pay off Ally to get on a list? Absolutely not. We are not bought and sold uh, by any partner members. All of the opinions that we offer are public and all of the opinions that we offer are based on the investigation and the research that we do. So when you look at that database, you can be reasonably sure that it is not an opinion that is bought or swayed by anybody. Excellent. I always wanted to make sure I address that because there was a couple times where I bring this up and they're like, well, can't somebody just buy it? I'm like, no, they've got a really strict code. 
So yeah, exactly. And you just go to our code of conduct and look at it yeah. and read through it. And, and, and you, you can see that, you know, I, that, and again, that's, that's one of the reasons I joined ally is because I really believe in the ethics and excellence piece. Right. right. I mean, that's, those are two words that I set for my own self in my own publishing business. Yeah. And so how cool is it that we have an organization for writers that um, will, will do that for us? Um, they're on the forefront of so many different things. You know, um, Orna, uh, one of the things that Ally did very early on in their, in their life was an open up to bookstores campaign, right? So it was a campaign that basically advocated to bookstores the benefits of carrying self-published books, right? Oh, Who else nice. in the industry is going to do that for us with, with this level of clout? right? Um, blockchain, you know, blockchain for writers. That's another initiative that Orna uh, believes very much in. And uh, we just launched, uh, or we, last year launched a campaign to uh, raise some awareness around that, right? And so uh, not only is Ally providing good information on the basics of self-publishing, they're also on the cutting edge. Um, and I think that's really important. And I think we need more, uh, more of that in the industry. So that uh, benefits aside, right? All, all the things we talked about in perks, and there are more, trust me. <laughs> all you got to do is go to the website and you'll see all the di different things they offer, but just philosophically, conceptually, right? Doesn't it make sense to support an organization that, that has our best interests in, in mind like that? I, yeah. I, I think the answer to that is yes. All right, so we've really gone through semi-exhaustively on some of the, the topics, and obviously we have links down inside the description below. Uh, so, man, I am ready for you to take me through this. I want to show okay. just how simple it is to get set up with a membership. So folks, if you want to just skip to the chase and you figure you can do it all intuitively, you can always just click that link in the description or you can follow along with Michael and I. So Michael, if you don't mind, can I share my screen here with you? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to head on over to, what is the link I'm going to go to? You can go to authorlevelup.com slash ally authorlevelup.com slash ally. So folks, if you can do uh, my, myself and uh, Michael a solid, please utilize that link. It does help support his channel. And uh, you know he's taking some time out of his day for uh, doing this. So I'm actually gonna go to here. So we're on the Perfect. landing page. Where do I need to All go right. now? I've got four oh. different avenues and this is where I usually get confused. Yeah, so it, the membership is based on um, how many books you've published and, okay. and or your success, right? So if you're a new writer, and you haven't published anything, and you're thinking, "Oh, I, I can't join because I'm not an, I, you know, I'm not technically officially an author yet." Yeah. We actually have a reduced membership fee for those writers, so that's another really cool thing. In fact, that's when I joined Ally. I joined with the associate membership, and then I upgraded later on. Oh. So if you're a new writer, we got a membership for you, right? So don't think you can't join. Um, if you have published at least a one book or a series of shorter books, which is where I think most of you watching are going to be, mm -hmm. then you can go to the author membership. Right, that's going to give you a lot of benefits. It's a full author membership, and that's that's definitely the place to be. If you are a little bit more successful and uh, have sold uh, quite a few books, there's some sales numbers down there. Um, you can become an authorpreneur member. There are some additional benefits there that might help you um, from a networking perspective and um, things like that. And then if you have a uh, service or a company that uh, you know you have that that serves writers, feel free to sign up as a partner member. Um, and, and there are partner member membership benefits as well. Oh, very so. cool. So if I was, say, for instance, an editor, I could probably apply for the partner membership then. Yep. If you are an editor, cover designer, um, you offer some sort of uh, publishing assistance for writers, uh, you offer marketing services, if you offer uh, a program for writers, like a spell checker or a writing app, you know, these are all fair game. Uh, these are all uh, people that, uh, or so companies that have been partner members for us. Excellent. Now, um, so just based on our conversation, unfortunately, I don't know exact numbers. I would almost all, I would rather defer back over to author member because you know I can't get away with going associate member. Uh, sadly, nope, I'm not going to let you get away with that, man. Yeah, you're like, no, nah, Dale, <laughs> you've got way more. <laughs> so I don't know as far as you know units goes, and you know, so rather yeah, than and all that's on the on the sales page there. If, in, in, if you need help with that, but yeah, author okay. member, like I said, for most people, that's that's what you're going to want to pick. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. It's breaking it down and it shows some of these perks and some of the things that you had already discussed. Um, is there anything that you want to cover on this particular page right here? Yeah, you know, all the things I talked about, uh, a couple uh, extra things that uh, are pretty cool. There's an affiliate program. So for those of you who want to tell your friends, you know, that's a great way to maybe uh, make, a, make a few bucks doing that because mm -hmm. um, we always benefit from, from shit, sp spreading the word. 
Um, and there's also um, guest blog opportunities. So our members are able to um, mm. write guest blog articles. So if there's something you feel really passionate about, or yeah. if there's a marketing yeah. technique that you use that you just want to share with the world, you have the ability to broadcast on, on our blog and yeah. um, you know link back to your site. And that's all good stuff. Excellent. A lot of really cool author publisher profile. I like that. Yeah. Um, and you get a profile on Ally as well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit subscribe here and let's go into the next screen. All right. Author membership uh, registration. Okay. So I'm going to blur out all this. So before I start pulling out all my credit card information, I'm just going to go ahead and stop, pause it right here. Yeah, okay, so cool. we've gone through the whole uh, processing. I ended up using PayPal. Um, for some reason, my stolen credit card wasn't working, man. Shucks. Totally kidding, folks. It's a joke. <laughs> um, so ethics and excellence, Dale. Ethics and excellence. Dang it, yes. I'm learning all this stuff. <laughs> this ethics. It's such a big word for me. Uh, so really, at this point, it says, thank you uh, for becoming an author, member of Alliance of Independent Authors. Your contribution is submitted to Ally for processing. An email receipt will be sent. Blah, 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 yakety schmackety. And uh, Orna, of course, signs off on here. So I am, I'm kind of pumped. What comes next, man? Yeah, what comes next is um, basically once you know, your membership gets verified, you've got access to uh, the whole gamut of the things that I just talked about, which is great. Sweet, good stuff. So what would be like a suggestion to me? Um, where's the best first place to start? Best first place to start, I would, I would check out the guidebooks. Okay. Check out the guidebooks and see which ones trip your trip your fancy, and um, and then after that, I would uh, I would if you've got a burning question, um, there's a, a link to our uh, podcast. Feel free to go on in and ask the question, and we make a pledge to answer every question that comes in by our members. That's so tremendous. I've actually caught you guys a few an times answer. on Facebook, and uh, Orna and I were having a private conversation over on Twitter. And yeah. I'm trying to urge her to multi-stream and get you guys yeah. over onto both Facebook and YouTube because I think there's uh, quite a bit of awesome stuff there. And um, another thing that I would do, first thing, mm -hmm. because now that you are a member, Dale, join our Facebook group. So yes. we have a, a private Facebook group that's for members only. And you can also get your questions answered there. You can network with other writers. You know, one of the most common questions we get on the show is, how do I connect with other writers? You know? And we always say, well, join our Facebook group. We've got <laughs> a lot of people in this Facebook group and, uh, you know, make friends and talk about, you know, what you're working on, talk about your books and, you know, don't self promo, of course, but, you know, talk about what you're working on. And, and it's a great way to meet other people in, in your genre and uh, pick up some great marketing tips and techniques. And uh, the entire Ally team does pop in to those posts from time to time as well. So um, Orna Ross is in there, Joanna Penn sometimes pops in there, uh, the other Ally team members. I mean, it's just a great team. Um, they've got a lot of expertise and a lot of knowledge. And so it, it, we've got great members who also are participating and, and, and give, their, give their two cents on things. And so I would definitely, definitely join that Facebook group. Well, Dale, I, I really appreciated uh, being here. Thank you so much. You. And uh, for those of you who want to know more about me and, and some of the things that I'm up to, I've got a sister channel, brother sister channel here with Dale. It's called authorlevelup.com. So visit me at authorlevelup.com or youtube.com slash authorlevelup. And um, one of my best videos is a video that I did on Scrivener versus Ulysses. So it is a SmackDown battle cage match of the Scrivener versus Ulysses feature by feature, one of my most popular videos on my channel.